High traders, S&P 500 lost 5.1% last week, down nearly 10% from its peak. Will the declines continue? There is no fundamental justification for this. The interest rate is not too high. The new tax law will continue to provide tailwind for companies and there is no sign of a slowdown. There is no similarity between anything that is happening now and what happened in 2008. This is a technical pullback that is most likely to lead to a new high. But it is not the time to announce the bottom, not by now. At this point, we should start looking for strong stocks that may lead to new gains, but again, we cannot say that we are bottoming right at that point. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I look at the S&P 500, I can see the crash. It looks like a car crash. It looks like uh, the market is out of control. However, this is only the daily. We need to step back and take a look at the weekly. Now let's take a look at the weekly chart. When I look at the weekly chart, it looks a little bit different. Go back a few years and you can see a few declines. Well, maybe not as big as the ones that we've seen the last two weeks. However, in, in perspective of the last few years, it does not look so big, bad. Again, this is just a technical decline right now. There's no reason to expect that it will continue, but it's again a little bit too early to call it uh, a bottom right here. Uh, so let's be cautious about that, but we can start looking for stocks that uh, may be moving soon to new highs. Let's take a look at last week. Last week we had two picks. The first one was TSRO, which did great, almost 8%. And the second one was ED, which did more than 4%. So both came down, both for short. The market was declining. It was expected for the market to continue moving down. And uh, both did well. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is FT&T long over $47. As you can see, FT&T did not really come down with the market in the past few weeks. It held to its position, which shows a lot of strength. So FT&T, nice technical, for, technical formation for long over $47. FT&T is a cyber security company uh, from the United States. And again, a very nice technical long uh, formation. My second pick for the week is CNK long over $37.82. Again, a stock that looks great, did not come down with the market in the last two, two weeks, and that is very rare. That's why it's a candidate for a long side. So CNK long uh, over $37.82. CNK is a cinema company from the United States with over 500 theaters all around the world. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Thank you for watching my video. Do you have what it takes to become a trader? I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge. If you succeed, I will fund you. You will get free access to a $14,000 trading account which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, Please use the comments below.